Okay, let's get into this uh, story. Dr. Umar uh, uh, Johnson recently shared his thoughts about the girl that LeBron James' son took to prom. Now, LeBron's son, Bronny, uh, posed in his prom outfit next to his date, who was a white girl. Dr. Umar reposted the photo and wrote, no disrespect, but yo, LeBron, I thought you were an activist. Johnson added a photo of a white bunny to the post, basically calling Bronny's date a snow bunny. Al? Do you think Dr. Omar was out of line for that comment? I think it's probably out of line because, you know, I, I, uh, you guys know, I've, I've said this before. I think kids should be off limits, but you two don't believe that kids should be off limits. But I think in the media, kids should no, be No, we said we would, he said he would fight kids. I, and I said, kids are just. No. Young, okay. Early, young okay. Jerks. Well, I thought you, I thought we were saying that kids were off. I was saying kids talking about people's kids was off limits is what I was referring to. <laughs> But anyway, in this case, I, I don't know. I kind of felt some kind of way. I felt like what he said was relevant to me in my head, because when I think about LeBron and Savannah, they are like our black family royalty. Like they are couple goals to me. And I think they serve as couple goals in the African-American community. But then again, I the other side of that is to me, LeBron took a white a white female to his prom. But he ought to a prom, actually to two proms, but he also took Savannah to a prom. She posted it, who his his wife from high school, he took her to a prom. And then I also thought about the proximity thing, because we know that um, LeBron's kids go to a private school. See, uh, what is it? Sierra Canyon, mm -hmm. which is where Dwayne Wade's kids go, Diddy's kids go, you know, out in California, like it's $40,000 a year. So his classmates don't he doesn't have really a lot of options so i don't know q what do you I think don't know. About um you know social media has been set ablaze with this story because a lot of people and a lot of black people in particular were saying who cares the color of his of his date or whatever but any black person who look at that picture and say that they don't understand why that makes people feel a little uneasy, a little uncomfortable. They're lying to themselves, okay? Because while, you know, in a perfect utopian society, yes, people should be able to date anybody they want to date. It picks at a nerve for a lot of Black people. Um, in terms of, you know, that whole, when you do well, you go off and you couple off with somebody white. I am though willing to lean on what Al said. He's probably in a predominantly white environment. Okay, so there probably is not much for him to choose from, but I totally understand why that picture makes some people uncomfortable. Right. I'm not gonna lie, when I looked at it, I was like, mm, here we go. There's another one. Here we, go with, here we go with the Jamie Foxx stuff. Here right. we go. You know, that's how it made me feel. So, of course, this is complicated for me, seeing I have a white mother and I'm extremely pro-Black and militant. And my mother has to remind me sometimes, you know, you have white in you as well. And I'm like, no, I don't. Like, it bothers me, right? Um, if this was an adult that was out here, had his own platform, really going hard uh, and standing on his principles about race relations, all that, I would say we should have a field day with this person. We should go in. The fact that this is a teenager and he's kind of finding his way and dating. I mean, LeBron was dating white girls in high school. He ended up with a beautiful black woman. That's who we ended up with. And I just feel like it's to shame him at this at, at that age for who he took to prom. That could be nothing. Like, who cares? Like, that, that don't mean it's his lifelong love. But I do get it. We, we want to see young, successful black kids, like, find other black, successful young kids to, to pair up with and make future power couples, future Barack right. and Michelle's. But I don't think it's cool that Dr. Johnson, Umar Johnson came for a teenager who's probably hella embarrassed. The girl's probably getting all kinds of hate threats and met. That ain't cool, y'all. That ain't cool. I can't and you, you know, I just think that's mm -hmm. effed up. And that's a, that's a grown man. And you're calling out LeBron for his son's choice of dating. And it worked out for LeBron because we are well, here for Savannah and LeBron. Umar Johnson need to be concerned about where them people donation money at. Okay, that part. with this magical school, this Hogwarts magical Harry Potter ass school that he ain't never built. Between him and Patrice Cullors from Black Lives Matter, <laughs> baby, there's enough money missing that got to rebuild the whole damn Ukraine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this uh, is 
Yeah, go ahead. Again, if again, if it was again, if it was like a pro back black militant man that's out there and it says one thing and does another, that's one thing. But we don't even know this kid's personality yet or what kind of person he is. We we just don't know. But you um, know, Claudia, we can't pretend like there isn't a trend because we saw in the last NFL draft this past season in Vegas, a lot of the young black men who were drafted all had well, not all, I can't say all a large majority of them that were drafted had young white females as their dates at the draft. Oh, I, Some I even definitely, had kids from them. I trust. I feel you. I remember going to the Playboy Mansion in L.A. during the SB Awards. There was a, a special party. There's all these young, attractive black men that were professional athletes. And I overheard a bunch of conversations and they all were saying stupid stuff like, I'm so glad there's not a lot of black girls here. This is definitely an issue. I'm not denying that. But like, let them get out of high school before we go in on them is what I'm well, saying. I, I think it's also triggering too, and that our young black boys need to know from a teenage age, all things constant. If you were, if you weren't who Amen. you were, mm -hmm. baby girl won't be looking at you twice. Amen. And you probably would not be allowed at her house for dinner. Okay, because I'm, listen, I, I'm, I'm finna go out on a limb here, but, um, white men do not like black men schooling their daughters okay yeah. they, they don't, don't. And, and in the white community a white woman is considered damaged mm -hmm. after she's been touched by a black man you know That's what true. i'm saying unless he's a michael jordan or the son of lebron james, LeBron so, james. you know th th there is a lot of unspoken undertones and history and energy and other stuff that picture represents more than just him going to the prom with a white girl. And I I'm going to need um, uh, brothers to stop the narrative that it's the black girls that are the gold diggers and the groupies and all that kind of stuff. Because like you said, Q, these girls would and their parents would not be with any of this had you not had the proper pedigree. Mm -hmm. And the, the potential that they see in you is being a high, you know, a high draft pick. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. please believe they may come at it with a different approach, the white girls, but they have a much bigger plan for your black ass. Just know that. <laughs> I'm cussing too much tonight, right? Are you, who you, you going to throw this person out to? <laughs> uh, what is his name? Dr. Uh, Johnson. Oh, Johnson. You going to throw Johnson, him out too? <laughs> Dr. Johnson, if you get that charity squared away and you build that school, you're supposed to. We, Wait a minute. You threw Candace out. You threw Caitlin out. You gonna throw Dr. Johnson out too? Dr. Johnson, be quiet. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Get them get that money together and get them charities back on track, like Q said, and then you, you can talk again. But he does oh, be making God. some good points in other areas. But this one, don't come for the teenager. Let let him get through puberty before you come for him.